What would society be without the versatile television? From movies to shows, sports to video games, there's a reason why more of our living rooms these days are designed with the TV as the centerpiece. Naturally, it hasn't always been this way, and in fact, a hundred years ago nobody had even spoken the word television before. Well, probably, unless they were just trying to make up words or something. So where did it all begin? How did we get to the exciting world of live sports, theater, and performances crammed into the box in our living room? Don't touch that remote, because today we're looking into the history of the television. Three Minute Flix. Entertaining, educating, and enlightening. Prior to television as we know it, there were big aspirations to find a way to send images through a telegraph or a telephone-like system. The first instance of this working in a rudimentary way was in 1884 with the electric telescope. Images were sent over wires to a box with a sort of viewfinder that could be used to see the image inside. While the electric telescope was the earliest form of mechanical television, the most major advancement would come in the form of cathode ray tubes in the late 1920s. These tubes would send electrical signals from a camera over to a receiver to transmit images. While this is a long way off from the modern television, this was the first true electrical television. In fact, the way that these cathode ray tubes or CRT TVs would work is a remarkable technology for its time as well. Electrons sent from the source would travel through the vacuum tube of the CRT, reaching a node on the other side of the tube, impacting the screen. The electrons themselves didn't create the image though, as they simply carried the signal. Instead, the inside of the screen would be coated with phosphor, and with the help of steering coils, the electrons would illuminate the phosphor one line at a time, creating a black and white image. While this first usage of the CRT would only display a resolution of 30 lines and 5 frames a second, or in simpler terms, slow and simple, the technology inside of it was fascinating, and so the arms race was on. Researchers from dozens of countries around the world would continue to refine the CRT formula, adding color displays, faster refresh rates, and better resolutions, steadily improving on that formula. What would a TV be without content, though? Luckily, the entertainment and news world responded in full force. Broadcasting companies started popping up here and there to adapt their usual news and entertainment shows from the radio into a more visual format. After the Second World War, the American people were hungry for a distraction, making the refined and increasingly more affordable television a fantastic option. After over a decade of being a niche and expensive product, the TV would be inside 20 million American homes by 1952. As we all know, this number would continue to grow meteorically, as by the 90s, nearly every single American home had a TV set, and over half of them had two or more. But, you know, it's probably just a phase, right? Three Minute Flix. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We create new videos weekly.